players are still playing her. She's been around forever, despite a lot of changes in the update last year. And Bo Belter, he's had a rough string of performances, but it feels like he and the rest of the mortals under AD carry wants to back off. Ran over over the top with the blast cone, though. Gonna look Elise to set it up. Coming. Good silence there. Damage is through. Exhaust is great, but that's a good stun. First one, though, over. As that's a trade killing for Dardak. Rainer goes down, and Dardak's chasing Youngbin as he's gonna go down as well. Now Matt forced to run through the slow field. Wants to try and make the flash and does get over the wall. Red buff tags him. Dardak flashes. Gonna look to keep chasing it down. Great cocoon from Dardak, and that's gonna be yet another kill. Three and zero for Dardak. What? 11 and a half minutes into the game. This is not LCS level. No, it's not. Good flash from Matt with the ultimate out there, but Pope is going to answer one to Youngbin. Ult's going to go wide there from the arrow, but Matt's going to go down to Cody's son anyway. Dardoch nails him with a cocoon. I'm going to try and lock him now, but Rainover's still low on Pope Elton can pop over here as well. But he's going to lock down the rise. Good flash from Piglet's going to get him out, and now Rainover trying to turn it back around. He flashes out, and here's Lola, but Flame flashes out the here. Last auto. Lola looks for something. He's now going to try and stun down him. Lolo, but there's another bit of damage from Pobelta. Dardak kiting it out. Good ulti there from Lolo. Gonna knock one down and give Piglet the double kill. Dardak running back towards his support and he'll be saved. Yeah, they will be able to zone them off. Can't chase through the corridor. Does go pretty well against Luan most of the time. But still, you would think that there would be a pretty significant advantage to Pobelta. Oh, very nice cocoon. Right over tries to get in there. Realm Wolf's gonna follow through. Dardak, I think, dead. There's the shutdown. Doesn't even need Piglet, but now Pobelta is gonna get the counter kill. Lolo slams him into a wall, though, and Piglet gonna get the easy lockdown. Nice rotation from Lolo, and Dardok takes that fight. He's actually pretty far ahead, even with the nice kick guys are doing, though, has backed off, and now they're going to be creating that pressure on the bot side because Flame is pushing in there. Someone must respond, and Pobelter and Dardoch. Yeah, Rainover are going to get chased down. Pobelter leads himself forward, ignites down, should be enough for the kill, and now Piglet is going to get himself stunned up. Perhaps Pobelter looks for the chain. Realm Wolf's there. He's going to try and turn on to Dardoch. Gets himself out under the turret. Pobelter able to distort out of the way. Rainover going to chase him, distorts his way back, but there's Piglet now on a killing spree as he takes down LeBlanc. The whole team collapsing in there on Pobelter. They do get getting something done. We'll see if they lose two turrets. That would be a bit bad for them. That's the response the mortals want here. Young oh Bin. No, Young Bin. That's a threat. They're gonna go in 1v2. Oh. Easy follow up. Doesn't even need the prototype of the arrow sales. But have to wait for mortals to make a play and face if check they are uh, happen. Yeah, face check a little too aggressively. This can happen. Pick off a tenth on to Matt. Does get the chain down. Massive damage. Arrow's gonna follow and that's an easy kill for Cody Sun. Remember Matt did not have his summoners because of the earlier bot side play around. Arrow hits on the Lolo, just gonna try and get the ulti down. Dragon low, can someone get it? No, he already never does it. It's a smite town, but Piglet may be caught by Flame. Adds rest of the make over, but Pobelta's looking for the chase. Piglet does flash over the wall. That's gonna reveal a few as Pobelta wants to chain down. Now looking for the mid outer. Oh, oh yo, bin. that's up to Young Bin. Pobelta can't find the chain though. Cocoon lands on the Piglet, that could be enough. Oh, hey! Has enough damage, gets two actually, including a shotgun on the pig. Like Young Bing goes down to Cody Sun's auto. Ran into a flash, leaps over the wall, but it's oh, into the arms five. of Flame. And there's another snare and a double kill for Cody. That is the risk. They get too overconfident. Yes, you can see, yes, you can get some advantages with the Baron, but they went too far up into the full squad of Immortals, and they're still down massively in gold. They pay the price, and the base is gonna get cracked open. The price is mid inhibitor turret and likely the inhibitor as well. Could be Lolo for some collateral, but he's got a Guardian Angel and he's a big tanky poppy, so he'll be safe, but for Lolo here, does have a Lee Andrews and a Void stuff, so Lolo's not that tanky. Does get a good slamming though, might just get the 1v1 damage from the ultimate, it's good, but there's an arrow from Cody Sun to save the play, Lolo flashes forward and will get the kill, but now Dardoch finds Rainover, oh they let's loose again as Lolo's GA gets popped, but Rainover still chasing down, Flame in the front line, trying to block off the rest of Team Liquid, gets himself ultimate, but he's so tanky, the damage isn't there, oh, now he's flashing flashes in, flashes forward as Lolo tries to go back into the back line, Youngman over the side trying to make a play, but he's gonna get himself killed by Cody Sun and Flame, still not going down. Yeah, they just do not have the damage to take out Flame, Young Bin tries to go aggressive. And TL are gonna have to challenge something here. They're in position to try and force a fight. But that Elder Dragon's actually dead. Yeah, it's it's long gone, and all the dragon stacking is gonna pay off for Immortals. That's getting picked off. Nautilus Ultimate doesn't even see himself for a kill confirm. And now 5v4 Immortals with the Elder Dragon. Steel is so far behind in gold, if they try to defend it at all, you just start fighting. They're trying to defend it all. Realm Warp in. Rainover looking for a flank. Not a bad position, actually. This flame still taking damage. Gonna try and get the hook down. Finds Matt as the ultimate out. Oh, oh, he's gonna get another huge. kill. And Flame's still there. GA's gonna finally pop up. Rainover's got himself caught straight in the front side. GA's gonna revive Flame. Pavelta dies back in for Lolo. And there's another kill. Rainover's GA gets himself killed as he revives.
So that's the second inhib turret as IMT move in for the kill. Rainover at least takes down Poe Belcher, but it's still four members pushing down here. That turret is going down so, so fast. Nardark looks for the play. Young Pin shifts his way up and didn't actually need to. Predictive attempt perhaps there from the Elise's TL. Good. Uh, for TL, they're still in the game at least, but Lorlo now moving forward. Brought up by another good hook from Flame. Oh, no. Damage should be there. Cody's done dominating with six kills. And this inhibitor is just going to get retaken. What an awkward time to respawn. Immortal's in perfect position to take that one. Yeah, Lolo just kind of wills him up. More than enough time. Ezreal Ultimates going to give it a hello. But Immortal will take yet another objective. Immortal, good flash dash. But Flame finds Matt with the ultimate. Might be enough to kill him. Not quite, but Poe Belter finishing the job off. Hook on a piglet barely lands, but Flame doesn't quite make it through the Nexus. Young Bin trying to flank around the other side, but this next turret's going down. Dada learns to Kakuna, deletes him 1v4. Oh boy, it's rough. Piglet gonna get hooked up as well. Dada taking turrets, and the Nexus now exposed. Immortals with a huge advantage. Snowball the game completely in their favor, and they'll take down Team Liquid here in the first one. Looks rough for TL. Piglet at least had a pretty solid debut in mid lane. Uh, but there are a lot of bot lane troubles here for TL, and Immortals just look to really outclass them. I'm sad to say that the uh, most neutral part of that whole game was our midway matchup. I think he looked quite good on it. Uh, so this is certainly a strong pick, and there is a more diverse damage profile from Liquid. That said, it's not like there's a lot of people who are going to be full bot side. So now he has to go around, he's going to try to contest raids, but he's not purchased yet, and this is kind of risky. I mean, Piglet's faster to this play, this is way oh, too God, risky. Oh, Chomp's going to miss, but it does not matter. First blood goes to Piglet from the Ignite. I mean, that was so... so they have a run back oh, towards top me. lane as well, looking for a 3v1 versus Flame. I mean, he's so far up, it's going to be tough for Flame to get out uh, with that root that's going to come in. There's the exhaust flame, Scotty Spark going to need to use it pretty creatively. Still going to get locked down and go down the mat. Great job from TL. Another gifted one against the wall. He needs to commit the ultimate. Hextech ultimatum down, but Piglet can't get in. Knock up there from Flame as Lolo flashes out, but that dive did almost nothing. Yeah, I mean, and Poe Belter is here. This is very risky. Poe Belter just needs to hit the shock blast. We'll see if he can do it. Have to try and read Lolo here. Needs to wait for the wave. Gets him straight in the face. And now they're going to chase down Piglet. Oh. Not going to see him. But and it, Piglet didn't have summoners to add that extra damage, and now Rainover in onto Dardoch. Oh, lands a snare there as well. Dardoch bouncing one against the wall, turns around with his ulti, and Rainover might just go down, flashing from Dardoch. Needs another shell, there's one. Rip up gonna do it, and Dardoch slays Rainover. Nicely played from Dardoch. Does get that kill right back, right back in it, and Immortals battling back two quick kills. Good to see Team Liquid being proactive. It's a mis-execution on these plays. Good charm. Because Piglet as well. Exhaust is down. Pybelta just going to run this one straight under the turret. Bats him down with a thundering blow. And there's the power of the Jace. I mean, he's out. And Piglet just can't make it down in time. Now Both Pybelta's coming here. in. Flames in first. Lolo's in as well. But Flames going to try and just run it all out. Pybelta looking to take one down as Cody Sun gets Matt Flame. He's going to fall on the front side. His ulti out from Dada does a bit of collateral damage. Ten members in the bot lane, it's a party! But it is only the one for one. Piglet again looking for another ward. Finds Dardoch charms, good! And Piglet gonna get his way over. Needed a charge, no, didn't even need it. Auto's there with the Ignite's enough for Dardoch. Nicely played from Piglet, making an advantage from that ward that they actually had now. So they get top lane, they're going for the dive, I guess. Nextic ultimates him onto Flame. Rainer is running up as well. Flame kicks one out. Good by Lolo. And now Cody San onto Young Bin here. 2v2 all in. Could be a kill. Boomerang Blade. Not quite enough. But Cody San wants it. Flash auto. Secures himself. And it'll be risky. Rainer over though feeling pretty tanky. Piglet goes in. Looking to try and dive it out. Good W though from Flame. And the charm's gonna miss. That denies everything from that play. And now Immortal straight onto mid, looking for Matt Dardock. Flashes straight in and blows Matt apart. Now Youngman's gonna taste it. There's the damage. Last auto is enough. There's a double for Dardock. Oh, they make him pay. Failed Dot on the bot side. And Dardock's able to go in. They're gonna get the top lane turret. The Elter is gonna take down these turrets so quickly. Uh, if he gets any alone time. The question is, did he go too far up? As Rainover is coming down quickly. Teleport in from Immortals is nice and deep. He's trying to cut around Lolo, but Rainover takes him out instead. And now Flames here in you know, 2v2 with Dardoch 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 too. in as well. Oh, they're gonna cut off Matt on the other side as Lolo is still fighting his way out. Young Bin trying to tie them down as Oli wants to save his teammates. Needs to line up for the ultimate, but just trying to chase them behind. out. He's gonna look for the assassination. Big flank here. Nice look for the Cody's There's the kill. Can he get any more? 
TL still on the chase. Flame trying to just run the rest of the team around, but Piglet goes straight for the throat into the back line. Dada gets snared up by Jin W and Ole resets it with an ultimate. Tornado is good for three, but TL get another kill for Rainover. And now Dada gets double left on, snared down and taken down. Double kill for Rainover. That is so big for TL. Po Belter overextending in the bot lane gets punished. Here. Flame blocking as much as he can. Immortal staying grouped. Rainover looking for the long flank around oh, the side. Oh, going in the back. Drake goes down, but they want to try and start the fight. Rainover on the other side looks for OA. Good flank by Piglet once again. He's going to take down Cody Stone on the back of the Orbit Deception. Double off from Flame could turn it back around as Pobelta is diving onto Youngbin. Lolo, though, stuns him as they kite him back away. And Team Liquid, a 3-1 team fight win, make it four as Flame goes down as well. That's going to be the Baron 2 base tree. TL can walk straight up there and get another advantage. Big team fight win. They give over the dragon, but they will get the bear in. And that was such a good flank uh, from TL. Great play from Rainover and Piglet. No Immortals wanted the Drake and just baited them into a position together. I mean, Ole's here. If he steals this Baron, <laughs> he may truly be the best support in the NALCS. But Lola's going to try and track him down, make sure absolutely nothing can go wrong. And that's Baron Team Liquid. All of a sudden, they have a lead. They certainly do. And this should be a kill on Ole. The exhaust may prevent it. But it is temporary. They're doing as much damage as you can. It's important. And Pobelta can be the first bin. Diving's going to start. Last pull. It's an easy one for Young Bin. Redemption's going to keep him safe for the dive, and they'll take this turret. Yeah, they just have no return damage there, so the dive was never going to stop. Lane are blind, so they can't really do much but poke their head and then hope they don't get killed. Ole again going to get chunked by Piglet, who's trying to make the play. Pobelta, they're going to chase him down, but that's not enough. Pobelta now running him out as Flame is taking damage on the front side, but Ole already bleeding low as Rainover just goes straight in. Lolo again is going to try and make the huge backline plays. The model flip the kite back down, and Lolo finally takes down Pobelta. Flame's going to go down here as well as Lolo gets a double kill, and Dardock left bleeding is going to get the GA, but he also goes down to Rainover, and Cody's son Flashes out of the way, Rainova can't follow with a flash of his own, but that's three kills for TL. The Nexus Turret's now exposed Team Liquid, having a much better goal, but Matt finally falls, but Nexus Turret 1 is down, the second's gonna go down here as well, and Team Liquid with a decisive Game 2 win are gonna push this series to a third. Huge comeback for Team Liquid, and Piglet shows up big time, you triple ban him, his second ever professional mid lane game. He's 5, 1, and 10 on RE. The fact that the sapling no longer deals damage when it drops means you're not able to clear out those backline of minions nearly as easily. So, you know, before, that counter balloon. And here's the play I was talking about. They're probably going to commit to Matt. This should be an easy first blood. Ole in the black shield in. There's the ultimate tax too for now. Matt's going to get jumped on. Youngman's in the mix as well. First blood go over to Ole as Dada getting turret hits. TP's in. Cody's son going to get locked up by Lolo. There's the Nautilus old out, though, and Lolo's doing good damage to the Civ. He's going to have to flash here too. Good hit onto Youngby, but that's not enough to finish him off. And now Rainover, we're going to try and just clean up here. Ole goes down. Flame look to be the next target as Varus is still firing arrows in, and Pobelta is going to make his way down, but I think he's a little too late. Realm out should be able to save Flame, oh, and he nice does get out. Warp. Piglet takes out Dardock on the back. That kill. You look in the snowball oh, up. Scott. Yeah, Rainover being a little greedy there. It's a binding and CC for a little too long. <laughs> Lens not quite in range. Pobelta gets a kill back. Finally punished for taking away those Raptors there. Uh, but here is the more supportive champions. We'll have to finish that story another time, though. It was Olega, Black Shield through the Varasol. He play might have been enough to stop Dardic, but he flashes oh, down. Here's Rainover. Still gets snared. Rainover trying to play cleanup. Takes out one. But there is just a trade for now. TL though on the offensive as Rainover gets Dardock once more. And now Cody's son gonna go right to the arms of Piglet. Miasma tags him. Now Piglet's just gonna play cleaner. Pobelta doing good damage, but an ult from Piglet's gonna try and play cleaner. Pobelta goes down there as well, and it's a mess. Three for three. Yeah. <laughs> three for four, sorry. Immortals lose one extra. Yeah. yeah, three. Infernal of the game will be up in a minute ten. There's a teleport in from Team Liquid getting aggressive. Dardock might be caught here. Feet trapped in the Miasma. Big arrow there from Varus. And that should be a kill. Lola collects it. Yeah, we'll have to see. A steal almost. With a pretty powerful objective. Is nice and Ole goes straight in with the flash ulti. Already getting low. Rainer is going to take him down. The little on the back side. Of Piglet. And another great flank. Going to chase out Dardock and zone a few more. Young bin. So. Yeah, both players are actually looking a lot better in this series. Oh, another catch perhaps. Cody Sun. Yep, that's your feet caught. That's going to be a kill. No, not yet. Piglet flashes in. Make sure he goes down. That's the second over to Rainover. As that ulti went a little short. Dardock. But Pobelt are still chased in. down. Just getting slowed. Pretty zippy. He's going to be okay. Oh! oh a big flash hook. Fires Dardock for another kill. And Piglet's now on a rampage. Oh, my God. Matt with the big play there to clean up another one. 
Well, the big flank actually trying to cut a few people off. He's going to try and find Cody Sun or Povelta. But Dada oh, they're turning the for the fight. As well, now Flame going to go back in. Only for Piglet, starts on a three. Absolutely huge as Team Liquid go into the back line. Piglet's still alive, just fighting it out with Dardock and Flame. And he's still going. That's disaster for Immortals. Team Liquid, a 4-0 team fight wipe. Oh, Piglet came up so big there for TL. Massive ultimate. Gets three or four there. He does not go down. Rain over may die to the Baron, but ooh, he had to smite early. Ole, it's scary, but just don't let him seal it. Yovin goes down to sacrifice himself for the good of the Baron. And Team Liquid open up another big lead. They have bust. But that's time on the tower now. This is going to go down. I mean, Cody Sun is just too low. He's been poked out completely. He cannot really enter that fight. So even though it is a turret dive, there's not a lot of return threat because it's Poe Belter and Cody Sun. Two threat team, one's already out of there. 6,000 gold lead and counting now for Team Liquid as they bust down the mid lane in hip. They want to fight him. Flame is out here far. He has got to run. Lolo flashes in, snares him up with the W. And Piglet's just going to keep going. Flame gets knocked up again into the arms of Yopin. Good pick up there from the Barracks. Yeah, Youngbin. He's down like 60 CS, but it doesn't matter. He's doing. <laughs>